How interesting. What ideas do the staff members have to make their channel thrive? A collective address. We, the staff members of the Muria TV channel, believe that the new leaders are pressuring the creative workers, creating an unfavorable atmosphere. And everyone signed it. Darina, please send everyone to my office. Yes, Karolina Hrirovna. <laughs>I want to bring our channel up to the national level. Yes, I know. I realize we don't have the assets to do this right now, but seeing the goal and striving to reach it depends solely on our courage, dedication, and sincerity. I need people who want to reach this goal with me. <laughs> Anyone who is unhappy with my plans can just stand up and go right now. There will be no repercussions if you do. Colleagues, we have experienced men and women working for this channel. There's no need for those fairy tales. <laughs> Fantastic, national level, never. Maybe after your passionate speech, someone got deluded about our channel's future, but believe me, they'll soon come to their senses. Timothy Vadimovich. I understand what you're trying to achieve with your speeches and actions. Don't you need a job? I do. In Kiev, at a real national TV channel that has been making me offers for a while. And you will remember me when you lose all your jobs. <laughs>
Remember how we accidentally swapped our dates? <laughs> In the morning, you called me like, Halia, where are you? Well, I was at your guys's and you were at mine. <laughs> You don't want to talk. Okay. I'll give you an incentive. How about this? Darling, I've been thinking. I'm not sure I'm ready to go back to the office. There are lots of great pros there like Lesha, Marharita, Olena, Nazar. I'm sure they can deal with the Romanians even without me there. Darling, wait. Nobody is making you come back to the office. It's just that we need you to settle this situation we're in. They're your responsibility. They only want to talk to you and will lose them if you don't. It means a big loss for the factory. Okay, I'll do everything in my ability to fix this problem. That's my smart girl. Darling. Yes? Come here. You know what I dreamt about? No, tell me. I dreamt about... having a baby. <laughs> I don't care if it's a boy or a girl. I just want it to look like you. <gasps> whoa, whoa, excuse me, I... I didn't mean to. Uh, uh, dinner's ready. Zana, how many times do I have to tell you to knock first before you come barging into a room? I'm sorry. It won't happen again, I promise. <sighs> <sighs> Baby, you can go first. This might be important. Bye. I'll follow. <laughs> <laughs> Two questions first. Do you know how old our baby would be now? Second, what do you think your husband will say if I send him this picture? <sighs> we need to meet now. It's urgent. Stop. Oh no. God forbid. I don't meet with married women unless their husbands are present. Better yet. We should talk about your sister's suffering because of your past. <sighs> Starting from this day, you and I are friends and I do anything. Any time for my friends. You can always count on me. Good evening, Victor. I'm glad you recognized me. I have... a favor I need to ask of you.
Yana, hi. I'm at the gate. Yes, I'll wait. Andrei Popovich? That's me. What the hell do you want? I want you to sit tight and keep your mouth shut, or we'll take care of you. What happened? Who did this to you? Never mind. Just some idiots. We should call the police or an ambulance. Don't call anyone. Yana. What happened to us? What? What do you mean? Don't you feel like someone has stolen your life? It's not a good time for metaphors. I need to take care of your wounds. The culprit should be punished, definitely. Come on. It's nobody's fault. Wrong time and wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong place. Listen, I have some good news. We're so happy you're back. We missed you so much. Thanks a lot. Here, take these. Chocolates? They're my favorites. You'll like it. This is for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, we'll catch up later. Enough fun for now. Let's get to work first. But I thought we could at least have a drink before... Everyone to their stations. Tea or coffee? Too bad. No luck, Nazar. Don't mock me. Here, help yourself. <laughs> Anna, uh, are you lost? Your desk is over there. <sighs> By the way, Anna, I already sent you the documents. The ones that you will need for the Romanian contract. Let me show you here, real quick. They'll be back in a week, so you need to get ready. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm on my way to the meeting now. <laughs> okay. I'll be back in a minute. Hello, is this the Translation Bureau? I need an urgent translation from English into Ukrainian. A technical related text? How would I know how many characters? A few pages. Two or three days? I thought I already told you it's urgent. I'll even pay double. Triple. You can't do it? I'll call you back. Hello. Hey, something wrong? 
No, it's just that I've been thinking. Yana called to say she has been offered a job so she couldn't help us at the restaurant anymore. And too bad. We need all the help that we can get, especially during exactly. lunch. Exactly. Hey, Mr. Chef with no degree. Talk less and do more. You're needed in the kitchen. What do you mean by that? Do you think a degree matters in the kitchen? What does? A soul. But you wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> kitchen genius. God, you're like kids. <sighs> we have a love-hate relationship, right? Liuba. Mm -hmm. Are you sighing because of Petra? I need him like a fish needs an umbrella. Here. Mm -hmm. I didn't meet you just yesterday. Oh. Mamalia. What is it? Can I go out for just a few minutes? What happened? Nothing. I just have a very, very important errand. A very, very important errand? Off you go. Okay. Right. We still have time. Mm-hmm. <sighs> What are you doing here? Hi, Anna. Congratulations are in order. I finally got a job. W what kind of job? Dennis recommended me to Carolina. Now I'm a costume designer with Maria TV. Isn't it cool? We'll see each other more. Yes, that's cool. But still, you have to be careful. After all, you have no memories. What do you mean? What I meant is, because of that, she may cause problems. How sure are you? She'll do fine. I believe in her capabilities. Careful. Cooking courses. That's what I need. Right. Hello? I'm calling about your ad, your cooking courses. Uh, how much is the tuition? I see. So when can I start? Tonight? Great. I'd like to enroll. Kalushni? Kalushni. Petro Kalushni. Thank you. Goodbye. Is it a holiday or are you trying to bribe me? Okay, let's talk like grown ups. Go ahead, grown up. Okay. I'm sick and tired of you bickering with Liuba all the time. Anyone can see how much you like Liuba. Baby, don't you think... No, I don't. Stop. Don't interrupt me. Everybody knows you're sweet with her. Except for Liuba herself. You need to open her eyes. <clears throat> do you understand? I can't say that I do. I don't think I'm the baby here. <sighs> Ask her out. Give her some flowers. Start with... Offering her favorite chocolate. Make sure you remember. Mm-hmm. Mm. Come on, come on, take it. Well, if you really insist. I'll check on you later. I want to see if you did your homework properly. And my homework is... Asking Liuba out. Uh, asking her out. Petra, put your brain in gear. I'll go now. To prepare her. Carolina, Andre Popovich, and Yana Matvienko are here. You could send them in. Hello? Hello there. What brings? I hope you came to apologize for your horrible driving the other day. Oh, Carolina, hi. 
I wanted to talk to you. I'm listening. I was going to ask you not to hire Yana. Why not? She's not well yet. She has memory problems. Working would be too hard for her. The people around, the stress. It's nice you're worried about your sister, but from what I know, Yana is eager to work and is ready to start even today. I think I should let her try. Being around people might help her with her memories. Who knows what kind of emotion will be the right one. I don't like this idea. I promise I won't overwork her. I'll keep an eye on her. I have to run. Lesha, I'm busy. Yes, I'm here. I'm already at the office. Barharita Fedorivna. Yes. Please look through these documents I have here and give me a written summary about them. Okay, I'll do it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Hi. Hi, sis. Are you in a bad mood? No, he wants to know. Did you seriously just send that sassy idiot to me? Who is it? Andriy Popovich. What? When did he have time to be sassy with you? He almost hit my car the other day and didn't even apologize. I'm not going to work with him. <sighs> Carolina, this isn't a playground. You're doing a serious job running a TV channel. First and foremost, you need professionals. Andre is a pro. I wouldn't have recommended him without reading through his CV very carefully. Did you read it? Yes. So what? If I knew he was that psycho of a person- Carolina! When you hire someone, you should look at their professional skills, not your emotions about them. Andrea is a gifted director. If you can observe that he is not doing his job well, you can always fire him. Anyway, it's your channel. It's up to your own discretion who you fire and who you don't. Anna, I'm waiting for your feedback on the papers I sent. Have you had the chance to look through them already? I don't have time yet. I'll do it later, okay? I don't get it. What are you waiting for? I need them ASAP. There are things that I'm doing that are more important than any papers. Has Dennis finished yet? No, we are producing another kind of concrete now. Mm -hmm. It has better quality and it's frost resistant. It's more expensive, but it's also better. Mm -hmm. We'll be happy to work with you. Goodbye. Anna, did you understand what it was about? Some new concrete that you're selling. The flagstones, ordered by a Romanian construction company, will be made from this new concrete. And you have to draft an appendix to the contract for the Romanians to sign. It's more expensive, which makes the flagstones price go up. Okay, I... I'll do it. I mean, I'll do the contract. It's just, you know. What? Do you have more questions? Mm-hmm. Dennis, why did you ask Carolina to hire Yana without talking to me first? Now you're questioning me too? Why is it bad if Yana has a job? I'm worried something might happen. You know she isn't well yet. She has amnesia. Anna, don't exaggerate. <sighs> okay, Yana doesn't remember much of her past, but she behaves normally like any other person. Like you and me. Mm-hmm. She just needs time to recall everything. 
Maybe her job dealing with other people will help. I doubt it will help. You don't need to doubt it. What you need to do is just believe in your sister. She can't stay locked forever. Dennis, I'm worried about her. Please, go and talk to Carolina and make her go back on her words on Andre and Yana. What's wrong with Andre? He is a talented director. And Yana used to be a talented host. I'm not going to discuss this further. Let my sister be the one to decide who she is hiring. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. <laughs> it's so nice to see you again. You too, Marina. Ah, uh, do you know if we're going to be working together again? <laughs> it seems so. <laughs> What's with your face? Nothing. I just fell from the sofa. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell me. I see you've made changes. A new office. A new equipment as well. Yeah, it's really a complete reboot. Now we need to settle the anchor issue. Well, now you have a new cadre. <laughs> well, it's not exactly new, but just renovated. Come with me. I'll show you another new cadre, Marina. I promise you'll like them. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Come on. Ta-da! <sighs> Jan? Hi, it's good to see you. Hi. Jana's memory hasn't come back completely after the accident. Yes, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. You are... Well, I'm Marina. Okay, let me reintroduce you. Okay? <laughs> Marina, this is Yana, a nice and hard-working girl. Yana, meet Marina, a talented editor. She and I have always been good friends and colleagues as well, right, Marina? Yes, of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, yes, Yana, you... Don't you want to be a television host again? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I didn't even consider it. Oh, excuse me. I have to take this. Hello? Yes, Halia. It looks like we're going to need more whole grain bread next time. A lot of our customers are ordering it. Black eyebrows, with the black eyebrows. Here you go, for you. Thank you. Hmm? How did you know that this was my favorite brand of chocolate? My heart told me. Two dumplings with potatoes and... one with cabbage. Zoriana, wait. The thing is, Petro is handing out candy to his co-workers, um, today. Here, help yourself with this. You could have eaten it yourself. I couldn't. One should share nice things. I'll pass, I'll pass. I'm allergic to chocolate. I'd gladly eat it every day. I got your hint. Hi. Hey. <sighs> Imagine Yana got a job with a channel, and I didn't. Is that fair? So Anna decided to let us down. Call her now. I don't understand. What's wrong with Andre? He is a talented director, and Yana used to be a talented host. Hi, Yana. I heard Yana got 
got a job at the channel. Yes, indeed, that's true. I'm happy for Yana, of course, but we had an agreement. It wasn't me who got her hired. I seriously doubt it. Oh, uh, Victor says hi. Tell him I said hi, too. Halia, I can't talk right now. I'm very busy at the office. Let's talk later. Anna, are you ready for the meeting with the clients? Oh, excuse me. Hello? Right, our agreements are still valid. We will send you an email with our comments to you. Yes, we'll do it. Today. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Anna, give me everything you've got so far. Email it to me quickly. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm 100% sure Petra will ask you out tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, you think? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Liuba, can I ask you for a favor? Go ahead. Could you clean the kitchen for me tonight, please? Can't you do it yourself? A cover for me. I need to go home early. I have an important meeting. In 10 minutes, I have to be the other side of the city. Can I go now, please? Fine, go. We'll handle it. Thank you. A true friend. Ask me out on a date, huh? Well, this is my date. Anna, why haven't you done anything at all? What's going on right now? Am I missing something? Yes. Leslie, are you ready for tomorrow's meeting with the Romanians? Yes, Margarita Ferrovna. I've always believed in you. And Anna, I'll see you at the meeting too. Okay. Anna, can we talk for a couple of minutes? Yes, of course. Back to work, you two. Now that we're out of their earshot, please tell me what's going on. I barely recognize you. The thing is, I'm... I'm not well yet. Dennis asked me to come to the office. And I couldn't say no, but... In a word... I've overestimated my capacities. Your capacities? You haven't even done the basics. It wouldn't have taken you long before... That was before Alessia. You know you're my closest friend. Nobody knows about it. Even Dennis. I have problems with my English. What's that? I partially lost my English. I don't know what to do about it. I can only hope that it will come back to me in due time to fix all this. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Okay, I'll help you out. How? I'll go to the meeting alone. Tell them you're sick. <sighs> Thank you so much, Lesia. You're a real friend. It's just, uh... Just please, don't tell anyone about my predicament. Especially not Dennis. Okay. I'll only ask you to do just one thing. Please prepare comments on our partner's demands. Can you do that? I'll try.
This looks like Chinese to me. How will I do it? There's you. Are. Can I take this home with me and then I'll just email my comments to you when I'm done with writing it? Uh huh, okay. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Take your time. <laughs> Yana! Come with me. We need to talk. Where are you taking her? Don't worry, nothing bad will happen to your girlfriend. Want me to come? <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. I need to talk about girl stuff with my sister. You'd be bored stiff. Go home and get some rest. How was your first day at work? Mm, it's interesting. I didn't get tired at all. You shouldn't be worried. What about you? I think I did rather well. It would be better, if not for the Romanian clients and their demands. Is there a problem? No, I've almost settled it myself. There are some small issues left, though. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Oh, small issues. Why don't you tell me? Not that I knew something about such things, of course. <laughs> At least you could listen. Anyway... Uh, we demand that you reconsider the price. The Silicate Wood has to give us a discount since we are wholesale buyers. What do you think I should do with these cheapskates? Oh, thank you. You can offer them self-delivery. It would reduce the cost dramatically. Tell them to find a freight train going to Romania. That would allow them to hitch a couple of carriages and help save a hefty sum. Also, you could promise them an incentive discount in case they refer other building companies to our factory. As soon as Silkat Wood gets a new client through their referral, they get their percent. With this approach, everyone will be happy. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You have lots of ideas. Come on, it's nothing special. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Why don't we eat now? We've been too absorbed. Right. So you're saying most of the staff accepted your plan for a total revamp? I wish to turn your plans into reality and bring your channel to a new level. Thanks, Daddy. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, good evening. Hi, son. Greetings to our hardworking TV workers. Hi again. Mr. Director. Where is Anna? Having dinner with her sister. They have lots of things to talk about. It was both their first day at work. Tomorrow, she is going to meet with the Romanian partners. So, everything is gradually going back to normal. Son, sit down quickly. I'm coming. Okay. Why don't you go abroad to study? Oh, that's a funny question. Why would I need to go abroad to study? Why not? You're young and smart. Besides, I think living abroad would do you good. Stay there and look around. Maybe you like it there and want to stay there. Europe offers lots of possibilities. Don't worry about the money, I'll pay. You told me I don't like studying. You don't want to? No. Is it because of Andri? 
Do you love him? It's not right for you to stay with Andre only out of gratitude. I don't think it would make him very happy either. It's better to break up with him. He supported me during my hard times. Do you think he loves you? Hmm? Right. He's a gold digger. I don't see what he can get out of it. Can't you see? He's interested in your connections. Dennis and his family. He hopes to stick his finger in this pie. But we used to date even before you married Dennis. Everybody says so. Right, I did. But if I married a regular Joe instead of Dennis, he would have dumped you long ago. So break up with him. And study. Go to college. you love it. Are... Are you trying to get rid of me? Uh, three months ago, I met him in the streets with a chick on his shoulders going about their night. So I asked him about the money. I, I said we earned it together, so why would you spend what it without me? What did he say? Without me? He started dissing me, as always, saying I wore the wrong clothes, uh -huh. got the wrong hairdo. <laughs> as for the money, he said he earned it himself, and oh I my. was lazy. Bastard. Katrina Ivanovna, I thought of a way to improve your favorite dessert. What is it? I'm not telling you. You'll have to taste it and try to guess what's in it. <laughs> I lack a couple of ingredients, though. It's okay. I can go to the store. I'll be right back. Wait, wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. What? It's late. You can go tomorrow. Anyway, dessert's so late at night. You're wrong. Desserts, especially with chocolate, help you produce endorphins. What? Endorphins, the happy hormones. <laughs> I read about it in a magazine once. <gasps> I'm making you a delicious dessert, Katarina Ivanovna. What endorphins, huh? What can you do? <laughs> it's not right to stay with Andre only out of gratitude. I don't think it would make him very happy either. It's better to break up with him. Why does Anna want me to leave Andri? And this idea about college. Why does she want to get rid of me? Yana, dinner's ready. Sit down. Liuba. Why are you picking at your plate? I'm eating. I can see that. Eat, honey. Thanks, Mom. I'm not hungry. Anna and I had dinner at the cafe. We went to celebrate our first day back at work. Hmm. I'm so happy you're both doing well. Mom? Why don't I go to college abroad? What do you think? What made you think of that? We have no money, and you aren't well yet. It was Anna's suggestion. She said she'd pay for it, too. Mm. Maybe she meant going for treatment. Abroad? Maybe you got her wrong. You again. Didn't I warn you? Did you really think it would stop me? You'll see. 
I'll gather some more hard proof and everyone will find out about your crimes. What do you want from me? I'm so sick of you. What do you really want? Revenge. Anna? Who is this man? Thank you.